Hello inventors, in this video we will learn how we can create sign up and login form using Firebase. We will use here the REST API with token. So first we need to create the project. So start new project and my project name is sign up and login. Okay, now we need to design our basic things like two text box. So first I'm going to use here one layout that is vertical arrangement and make this width and height is fill parent like this and now I'm to make here one right on top here one two text box here one and then second and one button but make sure we have to use here two buttons so I will use here the horizontal arrangement this one and make this one with this fill parent like this and drag and drop your two buttons first one for login second one is for sign up now click on button one and change that to login like this change that font size to 18 change that font color to pink click on that another button or just make it that sign up and change that one is also like 18 and make this background color is also pink now i'm to change that background color of vertical arrangement so i will make that is like uh, blue tell something and then change that background color also tell so go with custom copy that code here pencil go to the horizontal arrangement go to the default color custom and then make it or if you don't want to uh, use that color so what you can do here go to the cancel click on background and make it none like this cool this is also work now click on the vertical arrangement and make this one in a center and this one is also in a center like this click on horizontal arrangement and make this in a center and horizontal is center like this now we need to add here one small label to make some space between both button i will remove that text from here and then i need to add one label here between both text box and i will remove the text from here and i will make that text box with this at least 70 percent and make this one is also with this 70 percent like this so that's our design but we need to add here one label here so this is the label level 3 in that label we will display our all status of our like uh, the sign up and the login thing everything so i'll just make it like 18 and change that tag to status something like that we need to add here one screen also so click on that add screen and ok screen 2 on that screen 2 I will just simply add one label that like uh, welcome to screen 2 something like that after successful login screen 2 and make that one label is around 20 or 30 something and then change that background color of that uh, screen is something black change that label color to white is like this now that's our screen to make this one in our center so this is our like screen two now go back to the screen one and drag and drop your one thing is like go to experimental and drag and drop your file with db okay then go to the connectivity and you can see the web view just drag and drop web view here and at least let me just yeah it's one web view is fine now we need to drag and drop your to more value actually i don't want to use the second screen to get data i will use the same screen uh, to get data so that's why i'm using your multiple uh, value now this is the design part now we need to do code part so first of all we need to create the firebase account so open new tab and just type here firebase.google.com and you have to go to the console option you can see go to the console go to the console and we need to create here one project so click on add project and just type here login sign up tcp and then click on continue and then continue and then select any account it's, comp it's not compulsory and create project now click on continue and now we need to add here authentication so in the left side you can see here authentication click on that and now we need to click on that option is get started so click on that get started and wait some second 
Now we can see get started with Firebase auth by adding your first sign in method. So I will use your email and password sign in method. So click on email and password, enable this email password and then just save. Now we need to go to the users here. Here you can see there is nothing. Okay. Now we need to use here one thing here. Click on the setting option here and go to the project setting. And you will get here web API key. This is the most important thing. Now let me just go to the MIT Apple Mentor and we need to do the code part. So go to the block and first of all we need to create one variable in a slice the variable and this is the URL web URL for sign up. So first of all we will define the API. So just type your API key and then just use a text and drag on top it here. Go to the Firebase and just copy that API key and paste it here because we have to use multiple times this API key so that's why we have created that as a variable. Now we need to use your REST API. So open new tab and just type your REST API authentication Firebase and open that doc. I will give you that doc link in the description and here you will find a lot of things like you can see the sign up with the customer token key and then you can see the Google API token key lot of things but we need to call your sign up account you can see the account sign up this is the api key we have to call you can see the api key we have to pass our own api key here so let me just copy that whole url go to the mit apple mentor and create one more variable for create account so if i just say create account and then just text and then try and drop this like here and then paste it here but make sure to remove that API key till now equal okay cool now make sure this is the like here make sure remove that the key is equal okay and then we will pass our key that API variable now we need to call it so how we can call it so we will call that API call on that sign up button it means button 2 so go to the blog you can see in the rest API we can pass the email password and return secure token so we have to pass both thing here this thing and we have to call this one also to get the token so go to the MIT app mentor and first of all on button to click so whenever someone click on the button to so we have to call we have to set the web one view this one as a URI this one this web view URL is join option like click on text and you can see the join just type it up to your and we have to first of all we have to pass the create account this one and we have to pass the api key also cool this one and then we have to pass email and password so uh, we have an email in the email id text box one so go to the design click on the text box and you can see the hint text is this one so change it to email like this and for the text box to change it to password like this now go to the blog section and then we have to pass it so to do that click on web view and you will get here post text post text this one post text call it here and we have to use again join because we have to pass multiple multiple values so here and first of all we need to pass the email so just type here email and then equal and then the email is our text box one dot text cool so this one here now we need to we need to pass here another thing is like go to the string again this one one more string and one more string so second thing we need to pass your password so drag it over here make sure just first of all type your percent and then password and then equal and the password is of our text box too like this text box too and we have to pass one more thing here you can see we have to pass return secure token and this should be true so am i might have to just copy paste this here and just paste here equal true like this so after passing this we will return some something here so to check that what we can uh, get here after posting that value so you can see the when web without got text then we will return that return content so we will print that in our level 3 so level 3 dot text this one here 
and the response content is like here. Now let me check how it's worked till now. So I'm using your emulator to run this app. So you can see that's our app here. So let me just put my email ID here. So suppose the coding burst and the rate gmail.com and then we just need to put the password anything like suppose one two three four five six now let me just click on that the sign up button and see and you can see this is the done and the kind and that's the id token you can see the id token we have written let me just check in that uh, firebase authentication here go to the authentication option here and check the user see the coding bus is subscribed okay now but we can't log in directly because we have to pass the token it means which token we have to pass we have to pass that token before login id token so first of all we have to save that token value in some variable so we will store that in one variable so go to the block now we have to save that token so how we can save it and how we can log in so tomorrow we will learn how we can done the login process okay because this video is going long so tomorrow we will learn step by step how we can log in and how we can pass the token so if you need any help on that or if you want to add on more thing in this firebase authentication so please comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problem thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye